So this is my next project. You can see a large water butt there and at the bottom a plank. Well at the moment when it rains all the water from that side of the house runs into that water butt. It fills up in about five minutes and then it had been overflowing and coming down under my office window which I don't think is very good. So I ran underneath that plank a piece of guttering to basically funnel the water out and spread it over to this part of the garden and I've got some big plans here to create a series of pools that I can plant up and then like a natural sort of waterfall or well not waterfall stream really where the series of pools will fill up then overflow into the next one and then eventually go down into a stream bit and then filter out into this area um, so it will basically control that water in a nice way so I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to do that <laughs> so progression water butt at the top then a, then a barrel then this container and then <laughs> and then now I'm using liner to basically try and create like a natural stream that will be covered in rocks. I mean, you won't see any of this. This is just the infrastructure behind. So what I'm doing is basically building up the edge by using logs and bits and then folding the liner over to create an approximate area that the water will run down. Luckily, there's a um, natural dip here, so it's already running downhill. And then the idea is that all of this will be covered and it will look completely natural, theoretically. I've actually decided that if I create some little dips in the stream then I can get the water to pool there and that might be a good um, place for birds to bathe. So it's a bit of a rejig and we'll see how that works. So you can see now it will run into this bit and it will pool there until it's high enough to overflow and then it will overflow into the next bit and then up into the end and then I should get some nice little pools that will stay that will be good for bathing and then if I make just a little get it just right then that will overflow then and it means that I should always have a few bits of standing water in the stream which will be really nice for birds to bathe and then eventually it will run off and down and into the ground. So now I've decided on the route of my watercourse I'm now collecting rocks from a very large rock pile I happen to have on site putting the less attractive ones on the edge now because soil will be built up over those and then nicer ones um, placed. My idea is basically I'm going to try and cover all of this so you can't see the liner and then start to make it look a little bit more natural but first I've got to heave a lot of rock up to here. It's going to look great. So I've covered the edges with rocks and now my plan is to bring a load of compost over and basically build up these edges so that I can plant and then sort of make it look more attractive, I think. So, I'm going to fill the trolley again.